conduct ourselves properly, let us remember that Meyer Ford is not guilty until a court says he is. And he is not accused until the police say he is. I say this because it is to be applied to all, and like Mr. Ford or not, he is part of the all. That said, Mr. Ford is an extremely popular spectacle of the world, and as such can no longer be reasonably expected to function in any capacity on any council. Whether Mr. Ford stays on or leaves, is or is not guilty of the current speculations amongst the public and greater audience, he is now, is now irrelevant. Mr. Ford, whether he knows it or not, whether he accepts it or not, is finished. Now as to the substance of the rumors and beliefs of police interests, I caution the peoples of Toronto, the capital city of the province of Ontario, to not miss the greater impacts of the public revelations of crack cocaine on the streets and the availability of its purchase. It came out a few years ago that crack cocaine and traces of it were found on 99% of all U.S. and Canadian paper notes or money. Cocaine is merely the byproduct of a crop refined from a plant into substances such as crack. It is a plant that grows only in certain areas of the globe. Cocaine and its other derivatives come from the tropical plant, the coca plant. We live in a temperate zone. Coca does not grow in a temperate zone. It grows in sub and subtropical and tropical zones. The fact that it is on our streets, like bananas, which also do not grow in Ontario, tells us a story of international, interclimate, cross geographical areas and its import route from A to B. And in this case, B equals Toronto, A equaling anywhere the physical climate can support said crop. If you will recall, in the 1980s, on TV in Toronto, via well-known Canadian media public service announcements and others, vilifications of marijuana were made from the for, to the public, from the ministry, and other government agencies. There is now no mention of the massive crack cocaine, transport addiction rates, plaguing in silence and, invisib and in invisibility due to the denials of our current society, as highlighted by his worship, Mayor Ford. Further to the, into the difficulty of our current media reaction is the demonstration of their power as an industry. Mr. Ford is finished, famous for all the wrong reasons, and just ousted an invisible industry of cocaine and its movements on a global scale. It is therefore my message to the peoples of Toronto not to allow media shows and dogging and its power to go to waste on them as a whole, but rather to begin questioning the affairs. The media has just made one mayor into a completely unable to function player that is now forced to exit the stage of politics as an unfunctional specter laughter for the globe. The media does not do that on the national level. They did not do that for Afghanistan and a decade of renewed contracts committing Canadian soldiers to one more round.
over and over again. They did not do that for the well-known war criminal Bush, nor anything else of substance. But notice well, they could and did just destroy Rob Ford with ease and precision. Let us not become so enthralled with the stories of media that we forget Bill Blair, who was in charge during the G20 when unarmed Canadians were captured in the pouring rain on the downtown street using Napoleonic battle maneuvers. Like tin soldiers commanded by the very real earpieces that whispered out very real orders. Who, sir, was whispering those orders into our policemen's heads? Fair question. The media who just ousted Ford, a massive crack industry, has yet to pose this simple question to Mr. Blair. Who, sir, was whispering those orders into our policemen's heads? Captured Canadians downtown street. <clears throat> it is a fair question. It has not been posed by the same media who just ousted Ford. I would suggest to the peoples of Toronto that you consider all of that's gone on since Mr. Ford's election, since Mr. Blair's appointment, including the G20, the media, its raw power, and its priorities, where it gets pointed and where it does not get pointed. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.